So here we go, we're in the 2014 Buick Regal GS all-wheel drive turbo, 260 horsepower. This thing is pretty amazing, except the fact that defrosters aren't working that well, so I can't really see. I don't know if it's made for Chicago weather, but just driving with the all-wheel drive system is pretty amazing. Uh, this has everything you can think of from the speed to a GS track mode where the suspension stiffens, the uh, shift points are a little bit different, uh, parking assist, uh, lane departure technology, uh, navigation, Bluetooth, you know, the works. I mean, even the speedometer is a screen. So, um, I mean, this has all the bells and whistles that you would expect out of like an Audi A4, uh, Mercedes C-Class, BMW 3 Series, most definitely. Uh, four piston Brembo racing brakes um, to go with these 19 inch standard wheels with optional 20s. Um, this car's got it all. Heated steering wheel, heated seats, uh, some capacitive buttons. I have to say this has got a lot of features. Um, what would I change about this car besides the defroster? Um, well, you know what? I would say, to be honest with you, I like this crazy split personality car. Uh, this GS track mode, you hit the button, the speedometer lights up blue, gold, letting you know you're in track mode. And, I mean, literally, stiffens, expense, uh, stiffens the suspension, it, the change of shift points, the car feels like a completely different car. It feels like a completely different car. And that's what I love about this in comparison to, like, the Cadillac ATS, the BMW 3 Series, where, you know, the car is already kind of sporty. So when you hit sport mode, you don't really notice anything. This car still feels like a Buick when it's in regular mode. And then when you put it into the GS mode, it changes personalities and it just comes a completely different car. Uh, heated steering wheels. Um, I mean, just the, the upholstery. Don't get me wrong. It's not Mercedes or BMW type of materials, okay? It isn't like this is a leather wrapped uh, dashboard here. But... I mean, all things considered, I mean, that's what, that's what Cadillac is for, you know, and you want to get into that stuff, you get a Cadillac. Um, I miss paddle shifters, but it does have speed shift down here, it does have your sport shift transmission, it's an, uh, paired up with a uh, six-speed automatic with sport shift transmission. Other than that, I have to say, I love this thing. I've been driving it for a week, um, I have to say that it has been more fun than a Cadillac ATS. <sighs> Uh, it's been a little bit more fun than some of the cars I've had and I've been dri I've driven a lot of cars and this thing is fun I mean it's fun um, and for 43,000 to get all this stuff I mean because this is top of the line it's got everything 43,000 not bad at all um, I could actually drive this every day just because of the looks people like valet people everything they're like this is a Buick this is a Buick you know and they see you get out of a Buick to begin with they're like whoa you know you're too young but this is actually a go-getter car. This is a fantastic car if you want to make a statement that you want to do something different. Um, but yet, you still want performance. You still want a little bit of luxury. Um, but you don't want to drive just like, you know, a lower, a nicer lower-end car. And you want to get into the mid-luxury sedans. I mean, this is a winner here. I really like this car. Only thing we have to work on con-wise, uh, these defrosters. I mean, the defroster is on max. And I still can't see anything. Um... And my mirrors. So uh, thank God for the, uh, you know, the assist, the lane assist, to let me know that it lights up yellow if somebody's behind me. Uh, thanks so much for listening, and uh, have yourself a good one.